Well, Bavara, not quite the circumstances you'd want to be talking to me in, yeah. but tell me what happened in the match today against Patrick Fedeva. Um, I think I, I was rushing a lot and I came out really flat. I wasn't moving my feet and I wasn't uh, playing, I wasn't seeing the ball, I wasn't really focused and, uh, and following my game plan. So um, that's why it happened today, what it happened. Do you think it was also maybe a case of all the, the hype, the excitement, the great matches you've played, it to some degree caught up with you today? I think it wasn't even that. I think it was more of being tired. And um, uh, I, I don't think it's about the excitement or anything. I think it, um, the key is uh, in the fitness and, uh, you know, uh, and improving a lot more with a, a lot of other stuff that I have and uh, being more consistent with my performances. And um, uh, I think this is uh, what it is. I don't think anything else uh, was um, out there that that uh, bothered me. What do you take away from from, <laughs> from these these couple of weeks from Madrid through to here and all that? Uh, I I I proved myself uh, as I I was always uh, telling myself that I can play against the top players and I can do well in, the, in at the big stages and at the big tournaments. And this is, was just a proof uh, and um, I'm really happy with myself that I was able to pull through those matches where I also uh, sometimes didn't start that well, but then I would find my way back in and play my tennis. Um, and, you know, just, <laughs> I, I, I take positives out of it and I will go in a couple of days and uh, work harder and improve even better so I can show even better results. And is that Olympic birth? Yes, uh, the <laughs> they told me. I mean, it's kind of, I'm, I'm really happy, uh, but at the same time I'm sad because uh, the match didn't go the way I wanted it. And even if, you know, even if I lost it, but I, played a good tennis, I wouldn't be so upset. But at the moment, I'm upset about it. And, um, you know, it's really important for me now to learn from the lesson and to to show great result at the, not even great result, but great tennis at the Olympics and to play, to play good tennis because I because um, I want to show that I deserve my spot there. <laughs> can you can you believe that you, you could be part, you're going to be part of that that uh, that group of people that elite group of world athletes? <sighs> you know, it's sort of real and unreal because uh, at the times I was thinking of it as it's very realistic, and then at a the time like this when I play so bad, <laughs> I was thinking that it's very unrealistic. Um, but then I kind of pulled myself together and somehow, some, some, in some ways, uh, all that uh, hard work paid off. And um, it, I'm really, really lucky um, to be on the team and I'm thrilled and amazed. And I know Joe, <laughs> Joe from the USTA would be thrilled too because he told me if I made an Olympic team, um, we made, made a deal that if I make an Olympic team, I'll buy anything he wants from, from the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> so. Do you know what he's got in mind? <laughs> oh yeah, he already told me every time I was winning, he's like, I'm looking at this website and I'm already seeing the things that I want. So, yeah. All right, last question. What do you do now? Are you going to go back to the States or are you going to go straight to England to get on the grass? Unfortunately, I didn't enter any grass tournaments uh, besides Eastbourne, and so I have to uh, really like pick up my fitness, pick up my tennis, work my uh, butt off <laughs> right now, and go back to United States and go back to my center and and get ready for grass. On that note, Vavara, thank you very much, and well done for thank these last you. few weeks.